setting and introduction, the story begins during World War II. The Pevensey siblings are Peter, Susan, Edmund, and Lucio are sent to the English countryside to escape the bombings in London. They are taken in by an old professor who lives in a large, mysterious mansion. Lucy's first visit to Narnia, while playing hide and seek, Lucy hides in a wardrobe, pushing through the coats. She finds herself in a snowy forest. This is her first entrance into the magical world of Narnia. She meets a fawn named Mr. Tumnus, who is surprised to see a human. He explains that Narnia is under the rule of the White Witch, who has cursed the land with eternal winter without Christmas. Mr. Tumnus had intended to hand Lucy over to the witch but, moved by her kindness, he helps her return to the wardrobe. Edmund's encounter with the White Witch Lucy tells her siblings about Narnia, but they don't believe her. Edmund, however, soon finds himself in Narnia after following Lucy. He meets the White Witch, who introduces herself as the Queen of Narnia. She gives him enchanted Turkish delight, which makes him crave more, and promises to make him a prince, and eventually king, if he brings his siblings to her castle. All four siblings in Narnia, on another day, all four children hide in the wardrobe to avoid the housekeeper and find themselves in Narnia. Lucy leads them to Mr. Tumnus's home, but they find it ransacked with a note saying he has been arrested by the witch. The children are then approached by Mr. and Mrs. Beaver, who tell them about the prophecy, when two sons of Adam and two daughters of Eve sit on the thrones at Care Paravel, the white witch's reign will end. They also learn about Aslan, the great lion and true king of Narnia who is said to be returning. The camp of Aslan, the children and the beavers journey to meet Aslan, but Edmund sneaks away to the white witch, hoping for more Turkish delight. At the witch's castle, he realizes her true evil nature but is imprisoned when she learns Aslan has returned. The rest reach Aslan's camp, and the lion's presence begins to reverse the witch's curse, bringing spring to Narnia. Aslan's sacrifice, the white witch demands an audience with Aslan, claiming Edmund as a traitor and, according to the deep magic, his life is forfeit to her. To save Edmund and fulfill the prophecy, Aslan secretly trades his life for Edmund's. That night, Susan and Lucy witness the witch and her creatures humiliating and killing Aslan on the stone table. The resurrection and battle, however, come dawn, the stone table cracks, and Aslan is resurrected. He explains to Lucy and Susan about the deeper magic from before time, which states that when an innocent willingly sacrifices himself for a traitor, death is reversed. Aslan, with the girls, rushes to the witch's castle and revives the statues, former victims of the witch. A great battle ensues between the witch's forces and the Narnians. With Aslan's help, they achieve victory, coronation and rule. The four siblings are crowned kings and queens of Narnia at Care Paravel. They rule Narnia for many years, ensuring peace and prosperity. Return to the real world, while on a hunt for a white stag, the siblings stumble upon the lamppost that marks the border of Narnia. They find themselves back in the wardrobe, children once more, with no time having passed in their world. The professor, having had his own experiences in Narnia, assures them they will return someday, 